The 1982 and 84 Corvette engines had crossfire injection, but genuine fuel injection returned to the Corvette in 1985 for the first time in two decades. The 85 tuneport injection built by Bosch was standard equipment and featured a mass airflow sensor, aluminum tu tube tuned intake runners, a mold class penum, plenum, an air cleaner mounted forward of the radiator support, the new L98 engine delivered a horsepower increase from 205 to 230 and a torque increase from 290 to 330 pound-foot. A real-world fuel economy increase of about 11 percent. The EPA fuel mileage rating appeared in the window stickers did not increase, however, due to a more stringent testing protocol. This beautiful 1985 is a very unique car in its history, being the first of the L98 but it only has 28,000 miles on it and it has been judged by the NCRS in 2000 and two, 2007 and 2008 as a top flight award winner. <coughs> as you can see the paint on the car is absolutely amazing. It is wearing a set of Corsa exhaust pipes. <coughs> Excuse me. The awards that the car has won are in the back. Do come with it. I do start to notice just a little bit of wear here on the bolster. Seats and all the interior is in excellent shape. The 4 plus 3 works good. The, the uh, digital dash is in excellent shape. Nice and clean. Plenty of tread on the tires. stunning car you'd be proud to show and to have a show car at this price is a great deal <coughs> AC blows cold car runs great good weather stripping take it to our NCRF show we're having here Saturday Folks, if this car interests you or any of our hundreds of classic cars and Corvettes, give me a holler, 770-605-2056, or email me, john at buyavet.net. We'll see you all out on the road.